Barack Obama's interview today with ABC's George Stephanopoulos. So Stephanopoulos starts out discussing the big news of the White House canceling public tours. This is related to the budget cut sequester. So the people no longer have access to the people's house. Obama obviously did this to get attention. He wants us to think that we can't function without big government. So if a budget cut's going to come, Obama tries to find the most public way to make us all suffer. And so he got rid of the White House public tours. Yet this sad political scare tactic has failed miserably on him. So now Obama is backpedaling, saying he's not to blame for canceling the White House tours. Let's listen. You've been taking a lot of heat for this cancellation of the White House tours. I guess the Secret Service says it costs about $74,000 a week. Was canceling them really necessary? You know, I have to say this was not uh, a decision that went up to the White House. Ah, so now it wasn't his decision to cancel tours of the White House. Actually, that's not what White House spokesman Jay Carney said exactly a week ago. Let's hear Jay Carney. We run the tours and the invitations and, and, and that process. So uh, the White House, as we have said, canceled the tours. You know, what? can I just we have to hear that again because it's too good. We run the tours and the invitations and, and, and that process. So uh, the White House, as we have said, canceled the tours. Interesting. The White House did cancel the tours. Nice work, Obama. Now, to save face, Obama's changing his tune, saying school groups If they have bake sales and they want to come visit the White House, well, we may be able to accommodate those groups. Well, what I'm asking them is, are there ways, for example, for us to accommodate school groups, uh, you know, who may have traveled here with some bake sales? Can we make sure that uh, kids potentially can uh, can still come to tour?